Well, today we're catching up with one of the candidates hoping to represent you in District 4. There are two candidates vying for the GOP nomination in this district. Justin Holcomb is challenging incumbent representative Robert Adderholt. Here's a look at the area that this district covers. You can see it's a large area stretching from Florence down through Jasper and over to Fort Payne. Today we catch up with Congressman Robert Adderholt, who is seeking his 15th term in Washington. He tells me he wants to continue representing conservative Alabama values, at the same time wants to help constituents navigate federal government speed bumps. In his district, he says economic development is a focal point. Yesterday, when I was in Washington, I met with a company that uh, actually is from uh, the uh, UK, and they are looking at trying to come to Alabama, and uh, I'm talking about a location in Alabama that they could, in 4th District, that they would uh, potentially come to, bring 300 jobs. Uh, you know, in some places, 300 jobs is not a, uh, a game changer, but it's a lot for, uh, for small towns. We also touched on a number of key issues before lawmakers, including border security. The congressman says the border wall is one part of fixing the issue and something the U.S. needs to get back to. He also says the U.S. needs to do a better job of accounting for everyone coming into the country. We've got to make sure that whatever we do, we stop not only the, the people that are coming over illegally, because we don't know if they're coming for drugs, we don't know if they're coming for trafficking, whatever. So we want to make sure that we when we have any kind of immigration, it's done on a legal basis. And that's got to be the number one uh, chief goal of any kind of border bill that we pass. On funding for Ukraine, Congressman Adderhold stressed that he does not want to see this conflict develop into a world conflict that draws in a U.S. presence. So he supports additional but specific aid to the country. And I think we really need to send weapons and we need to send things that will help the uh, Ukrainians as opposed to sending cash. That's that's not a good idea and it's got to be accountable. The taxpayer dollars are very precious and we can't just uh, unabashedly send money uh, to Ukraine. On getting things done in an increasingly divided Washington, Representative Adderhold had this to say about working across the aisle. We're not compromising. We can't compromise, but we can find some common ground and that's what I try to do. And, ob and obviously a lot of people have the same goals that we have. They just want to get there in different ways. And so if we can try to figure out what those ultimately their goals are, you know, I'm all for trying to work together. And, uh, I, you know, there needs to be more of it. But at the same time, you can't compromise in the meantime. That's if you missed part of the interview. You can catch it in others right now on the free WVTM 13 app. And when you get on the app, click on the Commitment 2024 section. We've got a great voter guide. It goes through each candidate district by district with direct links to learn more about their platforms.